Hi, this is Daniela Burgless for QFREB TV. Imagine this scenario. A buyer purchases a home and is very happy with his decision. Everything appears fine, but one day a bailiff arrives and serves the buyer with a procedure for the seizure of the property. What happened? Well, a last minute legal hypotech was exercised on the property by a general contractor who wasn't paid for the work that he performed on the property when it belonged to the previous owner. Legal hypotechs can be a real headache for buyers. To find out more about them, I spoke with Marc Boukaram, legal analyst at the Quebec Federation of Real Estate Boards. Hi Marc, thanks for being with us today. It's my pleasure. In a recent edition of the magazine Option Laurentide, you published an article on legal hypotechs. What is a legal hypotech? Well, a legal hypotech is a, is a hypotech that exists by the law. It's provided in the Civil Code of Quebec. Now, one of the uh, particularities of the legal hypotech is that it exists de facto, which means the creditor simply has to put it, uh, to, to register it at the Registre Foncier du Québec in order to have the advantages of a legal hypotech. Now, not everybody can, can uh, list a, a legal hypotheque. There are only four types of creditors that are entitled for a legal hypotheque. The first type of creditor that's uh, entitled to a legal hypotheque are um, cities, municipalities, school boards, basically the state. Uh, let's take a concrete example. Uh, if, if, if I'm living in a, in a, in a house in Laval, and I fail to pay my uh, municipal taxes, well then the city of Laval can put a legal uh, hypotheque on my property in order to guarantee the payment of these municipal taxes. The second creditor or type of creditor that's entitled to a legal hypotheque are contractors, entrepreneurs um, in construction basically that have participated actively in the construction of a property and uh, are still unpaid. If we take uh, the same example of, of that uh, property in, uh, in Laval, let's say I'm, I'm redoing the roof and I, and I uh, um, bring in a, a contractor in order to, to do these reparations or these renovations and I fail to pay my contractor, well in order for him to guarantee his payment, he can put a legal hypothec on my property. The third type of creditor uh, that's entitled to a legal hypotheque are um, the syndicates of co-ownerships. Now, we all know that syndicates of co-ownerships are entitled to receive uh, payments of condo fees, uh, which, which are common fees, and um, if the co-owner does not pay these, uh, these condo fees, the syndicate of co-ownership can put a legal hypotheque on the unit of co-ownership of his unit of ownership in order to guarantee the, pay, the payment of, uh, of these sums. And uh, lastly, the fourth type of creditor that's entitled to uh, a legal hypotheque are um, any type of creditors that uh, have a judgment, that has a judgment condemning the debtor to pay a sum of money. So basically that's, that's a way for the creditor to uh, enforce his judgment is by way of legal hypotheque. And what are the consequences of the registration of a legal hypotheque? Well, the consequences are the same than any other type of hypotheque. Uh, there are basically two major rights uh, in, a, in a hypotheque. It is, number one, the right to follow, and number two, the right of preference. The right to follow is very simple. The right to follow is, means the hypotheque will follow the property in whichever hand it is. So let's say there's a subsequent, sw subsequent sw sale in, uh, in, in, in the property. Well, that doesn't affect the, mor the, the mortgage or the hypotheque. The hypotheque will follow uh, the property wherever it is. The second right uh, in regards to a hypotheque are the right of, uh, is the right of preference. The right of preference is the right to get paid in priority uh, in regards to other ordinary type of debts. Because the, the, the mortgage is a secured debt, it has priority over unsecured debt. So this is very pertinent for a real estate broker because as we know, a real estate broker has uh, the, his right to compensation comes from the brokerage contract. 
and his right to compensation is an unsecured debt. So uh, let's say, uh, I'll give a concrete example that can happen in the practice of brokerage. Uh, there is a, a, a legal hypothetic that is uh, listed on the property a few days before the uh, deed of sale. Uh, the, obviously the mortgage lender will be uh, Will be will have priority in the payment because he has a he has a as a conventional type of hypothetic. The second person that will be paid will be the uh, legal hypothetic. And thirdly, if there's any money left, will be the, um, the 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 broker because his right is a is an unsecured debt. So this obviously can can be very uh, consequential for for the for the uh, the broker. Uh, it can it can have consequences for the broker himself, the listing broker, and the selling broker if there are uh, if there if there was a selling broker in the transaction. And what do you recommend or suggest for real estate brokers so that they can be aware of legal hypotheques? Well, I think a good a good practice in brokerage in in Quebec requires the broker to do his due diligence and to check in the registre foncier. But with that being said, I think there's a wonderful tool that was developed by Centris, which is called uh, Centris Alerts, or Alerts, sorry. Um, this tool is actually, uh, it's, it's tremendous in, in, in helping brokers to, 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 to make sure they're aware of their listings because it synchronizes any type of activity in regards to the registre foncier, and it, get, it sends them alerts if they're, if, to their listings. So basically, if there was a, per se a, a legal hypothetic that was listed uh, on on the, on the property in which they have a listing, they will be put aware via an alert. So uh, the goal here is not to make sure uh, the property is free of a, of, of a legal hypothetic because that's basically impossible. Uh, the the point is to be aware in order for the broker. To be um, to act accordingly uh, in regards to to having a legal hypothetic put on the property. Akbukaram, thank you very much for all of this information. It's my pleasure, Daniela. Due to the serious consequences that may result from a legal hypothetic on a property, it's advisable to take precautions before buying a home. Real estate brokers under law have the duty of due diligence that requires them to perform certain verifications prior to a real estate transaction. For QFREB TV, this is Daniela Burgess, and I will be seeing you again soon.